how to use the control panels in the Lunar Clubman SE. To turn on the 12 volt system, just press this button up here and the 12 volt will come on. Directly underneath that button, we then have the water pump. So water pump needs to be on for you to draw water out of your aqua roll and fill up the boiler if it's been emptied. After that, we then have a button that is not used on this particular model as we do not have an onboard water tank. After that, we have condition of leisure battery, how much current is actually being drawn, what the main supply is doing, and what the solar panel is doing. On this side here, we then have lights on and off, warning light on and off, dimmable lighting on and off. After that, we then have the settings menu, and within that, we have power settings. So you'll see the battery that's being used as the leisure battery and the solar panel is charging the leisure battery. Obviously we're not a motorhome, we're a caravan, so the vehicle battery is non-applicable. We also have tank fill. Again, this model does not have an onboard water tank, so we do not need to use that. We then have lighting settings. So this side here, we can pick what we want to come on when we turn the control panel actually on. So you'll see at the moment that the main lights will come on, the awning light will not, and the dimmable lighting will come on. And then we can also, at the bottom here, change the brightness of the dimmable lighting. This side here is for the lighting attendant. You can set a timer for when you would like your lights to come on and go off. So we set the time to come on, we set the time to go off, and then we can then pick what lights we want on at that time period, and you turn the actual timer on and off just here. On this one here, key beeps on and off. Again, leave the water level alarm off because it's not required, because we again, we don't have an onboard water tank. We can set the backlight level for this control panel, and we can also set a screen, out, screen timeout for when you're not using it. And then we can then set time, date, etc. The next control panel is for your heating and your hot water with the Aldi control panel. Turn it on just here. When it comes on, it will display the internal temperature. If I now press menu, it will bring up its basic functions. So along the top here, we have the thermostat. For the heating, literally plus and minus, just pick whatever temperature you would like it to be inside the caravan. And then underneath we have hot water. So hot water is now off, hot water on, and then, and then hot water on, boost. The boost facility is very handy if you are going to shower in quick succession of each other, or if you want prolonged showers. If you do perform that boost and the heating is on, it will turn the heating off because it needs to use the power to do so. Next we have power sources. So currently you'll see main supply is off. Main supply using one kilowatt, main supply using two kilowatts, and main supply using three kilowatts. So just dependent on the amperage of the site that you're on. If you don't have mains, you can use gas. If you want to get up to temperature nice and quickly, you can also use dual fuel if you have both power sources available to you. 
The ACC is for the workshop, so you cannot access this. Next, we have the settings menu. So we can set a night timer and a day timer. Nice and easy to use. On and off at the top, set the temperature, set the start time, and then the stop time. You can also invert the backlight of the screen, so the, the, the grey background goes to black, the writing goes to white, and you can also have it so no water is made. We then have exactly the same again, but just for the daytime. Prioritise is what the system prioritises in using during dual fuel. So at the moment it's going to favour gas over mains electricity. Most of the time you will have it so it favours mains electricity over gas. The only time you really need to swap it over is if you're on a low amp site. Next we have backlight settings so you can do the brightness of the screen etc. This one's not used on this model. And obviously if you're going to be using timers, you can set the time and day of the week, etc. Next we have, again, bits that can't be accessed. But this one here we can, and it's the load monitor. So if you arrive on the site and you know how many amps the site is, you can set it on here. And then it will limit itself on how many amps the heating system uses. This one is antimicrobial. So basically if this one is on and you're using night mode, the boiler will self sanitize itself. This one is just temperature offset. So if you don't think the internal thermostat is quite correct, you can just adjust it by a few degrees. High altitude mode. So if the caravan is a thousand meters above sea level, you can activate this and it will make the heating and the hot water system run more efficiently at different air pressure. Key beeps. One delayed start and stop to the system. So instead of having multiple timers, you can just have one timer. So when it comes on and then when the system goes off, Pump settings, just leave them set to thermal, please. Full factory reset. So if the control panel does play uh, up a little bit, you can full factory reset it, which usually nine times out of 10 will sort the problem out. External start. You can have a SIM box added to these, so you can control your heating and your hot water via a smartphone language service so it'll just let you know what everything is up to it's more for the workshop but you can see the temperature of the glycol and the water installed accessories really there's nothing in here that you need anything that you need has already been activated and then background again <laughs> 